Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Paul Larson, in for Tom Halleck. The explosion of color next to me comes courtesy of the Mountain Lake Mandala. It's just one in a rapidly growing number of murals designed to improve the look and the outlook of downtown Plattsburgh. Community members installed the Tibetan-themed tile mural last summer at the corner of City Hall Place and Bridge Street. Designed by artist Sue Burdick Young, the mosaic required hundreds of volunteers to make its tiles. The work celebrates partnerships and friendships formed between Tibetan refugees and other residents of the Plattsburgh area. A different mural, this one at 30 City Hall Place, commemorates the Battle of Plattsburgh. It was also created last summer. Painted by its designer Shauna Armstrong, artist Amy Guglielmo, and other artists. Soon, the downtown area will have another mural, this one outside the Cornerstone Bookshop at 110 Margaret Street. Guglielmo is the co-director of Outside Art, a new organization dedicated to installing sculptures and murals in public spaces, such as well-trafficked areas downtown. I think it's a sign that says art happens here, and it's really welcoming for people driving through Plattsburgh, coming from Canada, or just passing through to say, maybe I'll stop and take a look around. The brick wall has been power washed, and just this week, the painting has begun for a 15 by 30 foot mural to welcome families to the downtown area. The painting process outside the bookshop will happen throughout the month of June. Families come here, people come here to get books. It's like um, a, a meeting place in downtown Plattsburgh. People are constantly stopping by and looking, and I think they feel involved. It'll be nice as it evolves. People will be able to see the process and maybe comment or ask questions. Personally, I'm very happy to be involved with the mural project because I'm an artist and I like to see art accessible to everyone. I like it on the side of walls. It makes people smile, makes people happy, and it's like a gift to the town and to the community. Well, joining me now is Julia Devine, the co-director of Outside Art, Plattsburgh Public Art Project and Professor Norman Tabor, head of the SUNY Plattsburgh Art Department and one of two artists who are designing the mural. Welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Julia, when you and artist Amy Guglielmo formed Outside Art, what was your general idea for this new mural? Well, we really wanted to create a mural for families and children. Um, so we had the idea of a children's mural because we want more families and children to feel welcome downtown, places for them to be. Uh, Amy, uh, was inspired by Nora Graves, who's Art Graves' daughter. And Art Graves owns the Cornerstone Bookshop, and she has these beautiful little animal illustration postcards. And so she thought, oh, animals, wildlife. And then there's also this great mural at Beekman Town of uh, Adirondack animals. And she says, we have to find out who did that. And I Google, and she was wondering, who could it be? And I Google, it was like, oh, it's the Tabers. And I know Norman and Tori Tabor from SUNY Plattsburgh, so I also teach there. And, and then we thought, let's ask them. We'll have a Adirondack animal mural that celebrates you know, the beautiful region and also the children and families of the area. So Norman, you got involved because of a previous art project. What do you think of the concept of this new mural? We like the concept. My wife and I have worked on uh, the mural in Beekman Town, and it also has the animals of the Adirondacks in it, or part of it does. And uh, so it was a kind of a natural fit for us and our style as well. Tori and, and Norm are children's book illustrators, and a lot of their illustrations also include animals. animals. And we mm -hmm. love their style and sort of whimsical, and we thought it would be wonderful to showcase such great local artists downtown. Well, Julia, with this organization, Outside Art, mm -hmm. what is the goal of the organization? Uh, we want to create more public art for the city of Plattsburgh. The great thing about public art is that it helps a, it helps a community uh, transform uh, its identity, how it thinks about itself, and also helps transform an outsider's perception of the community. Um, people who come here see, oh, arts and culture are valued here. This is a place that maybe if a new business were setting up and wanted to attract people, you know, employees, they could see Plattsburgh, oh, this is, a, this is a good place to be. And it's only going to help promote the wonderful work that's already happening and also allow for more opportunities to happen. Perhaps even you know, graduates from SUNY Plattsburgh or Clinton Community College, especially young people, will, will want to stay here after 
it's only going to help. The idea of public art, which is huge and, and it's visible and it's extremely accessible to all, to everyone, that's so important for us, um, will allow other arts and cultural activities to prosper and new ones to come about. And you are involved as a professor at SUNY Plattsburgh, but now you're involved hands-on yeah. with painting a mural downtown as part of this relatively new effort in terms of the murals going in downtown. How do you feel with you and your wife now being involved directly with a mural? Uh, it's really kind of exciting, actually. Um, and we were just down there getting the, the wall prepared the other day, and uh, so many people are walking by and commenting and talking to us. We're wondering how we're ever going to actually get it done because there's so many people really interested in mm -hmm. um, what's happening and what's happening in downtown Plattsburgh. We have um, the posters that are coming in from the uh, students and so we're going to try to in bring in some of the animals that they have in the posters into the mural itself so we still need to place some other little animals and, and when you see the mural you'll notice there are uh, there's a lot of hidden little animals in amongst all of the trees and underbrush. It makes looking at the mural sort of a game. It does, yes. yeah. yeah. Well, and I think you mentioned maybe um, that there will be an accompanying little plaque or something yeah, that tells it. you the names of all the animals that, mm -hmm. that you'll find in the mural. And there, the people looking at it can actually try to find all of those mm -hmm. animals in and around the uh, trees and bushes and water. Now, you mentioned that there were posters from children and the artwork in the posters might be incorporated a bit into mm -hmm. the overall mural project. Would you like to explain to us, Julia, what the poster project is? Yeah, we really, you know, with all our outside art mural projects, we want to involve the community in some way. So since this mural is more, you know, children, family-based, we wanted to involve uh, area children from Clinton County. So we're holding a poster contest, which just ended on May 15th, for children to draw, paint their favorite Adirondack critter. And this is for children from kindergarten to fifth grade. And we have hundreds of submissions. Uh, we'll be judging them over the next few weeks. And then we will select 11 winners. We'll have a best in show, and then a first place and honorable mention for each grade. So you're getting the children of the community involved in this project mm -hmm. in a similar way to how you got people involved in the Tibetan-themed mural from last summer. What did that community participation say to you? Oh, wow. It said that um, the community wants to participate in helping make you know, their community better and uh, seeing, you know, at the time when everyone's making the tiles, it was fun. It's a great community building experience. But then when they came down, especially for the unveiling and after, not everyone could make it, to see the finished product, it was pretty moving. Uh, to see you know, how your little part made something beautiful. You know, the more a community participates in a project like that, the more they take pride in where they live. And I think Plattsburgh has a lot to be proud of. And you are getting the impression that Plattsburgh itself values public art. Oh yes, because the city of Plattsburgh is so excited they want to include the unveiling of our mural as part of their July 4th festivities, thanks to Sandra Geddes, who's the events coordinator for the city. She has been so positive, and at first, you know, I mentioned this was happening. She says, we have to make it part of the, the day's festivities, so it's a featured event, and I think it will be great um, for the city moving forward. And the mayor's going to speak, and we're probably going to have uh, animal face painting, and some animals show up, and uh, Amy Guglielmo is going to read a story at the Cornerstone Bookshop, and the artists will be on hand. It will be a, a really a, a fun day. It's good also because it gives us a firm deadline. We yes. have to have that done by yes. July 4th. deadlines are yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. well, Norman and Tori, you both work on illustrations together, and you're working on this mural together. How does that process work? How do you use your individual strengths to create an image? Tori is very good at uh, stylization of the figure. Um, I focus more maybe on um, the design, the overall placement of um, form and object. Um, and then I usually do the big uh, areas of color and sort of modulation of color, and she really likes to do fine detailed uh, work. So she gets really fussy in, in the end and gets the small little details. 
How is this mural being funded? We've received such wonderful you know, support from the community, a lot of volunteers, but we've also received from funding from the New York State Council on the Arts Decentralization Grant, uh, the Clinton County Legislature, the Rotary, and then we're going to be starting a crowdfunding campaign, just a mini one, just to get the remaining funds that we need, which will uh, be we'll start that in early June. So you've been talking throughout this interview about some upcoming events. Yes. Can we summarize what they are? Well, we talked about our children's poster contest. So our winners will get a month-long exhibition at 30 City, Champlain Wine Company. And the opening will be on Friday, June 3rd from 5 to 8. We'll also be right across the street, Downtown Rising in Trinity Park. Perhaps you'll get to see Norman and Tori we'll working on the mural. And there will also be a children's coloring station at Downtown Rising on Friday, June 3rd. And then, of course, the mural will be unveiled on July 4th at 3 o'clock after the City of Plattsburgh uh, July 4th parade. Well, I'm certainly looking forward to seeing the progress of this mural and to seeing what it looks like when it's all done. Where can we go to find out more about Outside Art and the mural project? Just go to facebook.com slash outsideartplattsburgh.